Hey guys, it's Nadine and I'm here to share with you guys a little review of something new. Now, here's the thing. I have actually had this in my possession, good lord, about, I think, two months. <laughs> and I'm only now getting around to actually opening it and using it. But I wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing for you all so that you could see what you are going to get um, when purchasing this. Now, I apologize in advance. It's very overcast and it's actually storming where I'm at. So I have to put some of my overhead lights on <clears throat> and you will get some glare. But I will try to do my best to uh, keep that at a minimum for you all. So anyhow, this is called the Photo Sleeve Fuse System and it's by We Are Memory Keepers. And um, let me open this up for you so that I can show you guys what comes in this little kit. Now, it's meant to actually mend or weld together the plastic on different protector sheets so that you can make different configurations and whatnot. However, I have found some other uses for that and I will share with you guys um, in my next video a DIY about something uh, for my planner peeps, okay? So let's open this up and be careful as you're opening this because the top did have one of those little things that you can pull open but it didn't really, um, it was still difficult to open it so you might have to cut it. So be careful you don't um, cut yourself when you open this. So now, <clears throat> what it comes with is the actual fuse tool. And it is very similar to what a hot knife is. Um, it's the same concept as a matter of fact. So this is what it looks like and it has um, the little chamber here to screw in the two different attachments that comes with it. And then it has a cord. Now let me just say this in advance, uh, warning. Before you use this tool, make sure you figure out what attachment you want to use before you plug this in because once it heats up it's going to be very very hot and you're likely to burn yourself when trying to put on the attachment okay so I suggest you guys put that attachment on before you guys plug this in okay and the next thing you get is this ruler now it is a great little ruler and it's actually uh, six and a half inches um here's the thing you can use the flat side to actually you know um use the tool on or you can use this little channel what I love about this tool, um, one of the things I love about this tool is that it actually has these little feet on the bottom. So it's these little silicone feet. So that way when you put it on an item, it doesn't move. So a lot of times you're going to be working on plastic protector sheets because that's what this is made for. Um, and this allows it, once you put your hand on it, that it won't slip around and it won't move so that you don't mess up your cuts or your uh, welding, okay? So I love this. My only... Um, Downside to this is I actually wish it was actually bigger so that you can use it for many other things. However, I do have a fix for that and I will show that to you guys in an upcoming DIY, okay? So that's the ruler. Now it also comes with a little stand. And all it is is a little thin piece of plastic with a metal um, little bike stand looking thing. You prop this thing up like this and you see this channel right here in between the metal and the plastic. All you're going to do is you just let it sit like that so that way this does not ruin any of your surfaces it doesn't burn anything um it keeps it upright so that's another thing now last but definitely not least are the two attachments that it comes with so the very first attachment is one that looks like um if you are a sew if you sew if you're a seamstress or you sew um you might be familiar it has like a little rotary thing on it um, it's like a rotary cutting wheel or yeah I would say it's a rotary cutting wheel and what it does is it leaves little marks in your um, plastic protector sheet and let me give you an example of what that would look like so this can you see that <clears throat> well let me see um, hum, 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 hum. okay let me get the backing let me put it up against something and you can see that this has little dots in it, okay, versus a solid line. That's what this tool is going to do. It's going to give you little dots on it. So as you, you know, do it on yourself, you can actually see it there. The next thing you're going to get is a pointy tool or a pointy tip. And that's going to give you a solid line once you weld, okay? So all you do is you take whatever tip you choose and you just attach it by turning it to the left and there you have it it's attached ready to go you just plug this thing in it heats up within a matter of I think less than a minute actually um, I didn't time it but I do know that it heated up very quickly and then you can go ahead and use it and like I said um, this thing is pretty ingenious I think as a matter of fact um, I have a hot knife and while I love my hot knife um, for plastic stuff 
you can use it but it doesn't give you the exact same kind of quality and outcome so uh, I do believe that this was about $20 so I think it's pretty inexpensive. Um, right now, it's not look, it's not available in any craft store. So you might want to try online, and I will link for several places that I know you can get it in the description box below. Um, but uh, I do think this is a handy tool if you are a project lifer and a uh, planner addict like myself. Now, here is a word from the wise. When you get this um, system, you might want to keep it in this little plastic tray that it comes in and then keep this little plastic piece that covers the attachments because this allows it to house them and they don't fall or they don't you don't misplace them so you see I put the plastic piece on and I can tip, turn it over and it doesn't go anywhere um, because I am not sure that you can buy replacement tips for this okay so yeah um, I would highly suggest that you guys keep that but this is the few system by we are memory keepers I actually really really love it um, and I will be back like I said stay tuned for my next video because I will do a DIY on something for my planner peeps so I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys are interested in these kind of things for your project life for your planners please go ahead and click one of the links below um, I don't get any kickbacks as a matter of fact from those links I just keep track of who actually how many people click my links just in case you guys ever wondered <laughs> um, but uh, if you guys are interested in this you are project life people or planner people I highly suggest getting this tool it is pretty inexpensive and it really works its wonders okay so I will be back and stay tuned for my next video where I do a DIY for y'all I'll talk to you guys later TTFN Talk tough for now.